what is good Ape nation and stock j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock which you should be looking out for for the future i'm also going to answer the question can amc still squeeze to a thousand dollars a share is it still possible based off everything that's going on i want to break down what the data is suggesting about amc what's going on in the markets and how this could affect the share price going forward now before I break anything down, before I get into any details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below, and deposit $100 into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is, any of these 15 free stocks could be a free amc share a free tesla share or a mix of all of them as a limited time offer the offer ends in just four days check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video looking at amc this thing has been oversold for quite a bit of time but i want to talk about some technical analysis and like kind of like some aspects of it that could really give us a good understanding of what amc may end up being bound to do so one thing that people often do is they take a trend-based pivot extension and they start with this bottom right here that was made back in like 2020. So we go from this bottom all the way up to this like top points during the whole January run up. I think people haven't done this for quite a while since they are like very, very cautious. And you will find that once I adjust this, AMC's run up is very close to where the 3.618 zone is. And that's how high AMC ultimately ran up to. So that's where this purple line is essentially right here. It gives us a good point of reference for amc and what we, what we could do is i could open a new one of these start from this bottom go all the way up top here like this and let's figure out if amc's next bottom is like at i don't know five dollars and fifty cents let's just hypothetically say it's five dollars well during the next run up that's like this we can anticipate amc will hit around 154 bucks a share now, considering the fact that history is not obligated to repeat itself exactly the same as before, but it does have a tendency of rhyming, could AMC go to the 3.618 again? Of course, I believe it definitely can. And I think that given current mar market circumstances, the banks are in some very, very tight places right now. We're starting to see a lot of big banks beginning to capitulate when it comes to their positions we're see seeing credit default swaps going to the absolute moon and the shorts that are continuing to pile down onto amc i mean you can't do this forever eventually one side has to capitulate and i know that retail is not going to give up but i do believe in one thing and that's the fact that there has been a change in sentiment a lot of people have been in this play for so long some people are starting to lose faith some people are just you know they're exhausted and i completely understand that so when this thing does start running up there's a good chance that more people would be dollar cost averaging, at least on the upside. So they're going to start selling on the way up than maybe how many would have been doing that before. Because at one point, there were there was a large percentage of people who were like, oh, we're going to keep holding to, you know, 100, 200,000 a share and so on and so forth. But now imagine if this thing actually started to run to like the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, after this long term downtrend, you know, people are getting ex exhausted. So I, I really believe that we're going to see some more people start to sell at like these levels, like 100, 200, 300, when this thing does start to kick off. And we're going to see a higher percentage of those people because people are just exhausted, guys. And the psychological level of seeing their portfolios run up during this massive bear market would have been incredible. So the real question is, will this affect how high AMC could go? And the answer is to some degree, yes. But at the same time, no. And the reason I say no at the same time is because there's going to be a heavy influence with different investors, different retail investors, different institutions that have different strategies. Some people, if you guys remember what happened to GME during the run-up, what happened to AMC, a lot of people are going to FOMO into AMC again. So that whole notion that, oh, everyone's going to sell at like $10 of AMC runs there. I don't believe that. That's not going to happen. The majority of people are not selling. They're waiting for this thing to pop. And some people, like I said, there's going to be more people maybe kind of like selling on the way up than would have 
than it would have been before because people are trying to be more intelligent investors. They're trying to play it safer than before. And that's completely understandable, right? You guys are not obligated to hold. You have to do what you have to do. So could this thing squeeze to these high levels? My answer to that is I believe with FOMO, and this, there's eventually going to be a time when FOMO takes over the stock again. It's going to break all-time highs again. I'm very confident it will. I'm still very bullish. I believe this thing is going to fly. And the real thing we're waiting for is what that big catalyst is going to be. So is the catalyst going to be a share offering from Adam Aaron? It's a possibility. What about a market crash? Because right now the market is approaching this like October to November phase where the market tends to take a big hit near the end of October. That could be the trigger for AMC to squeeze too. We could be very close, guys. But let's just say hypothetically, the market crash is not what's going to cause AMC to run because AMC has been acting like a positive beta stock for almost all of 2022. If that's the case, then the market recovery when the market starts to recover, that could cause AMC to see an insane squeeze. Shorts will start covering. People start FOMOing in. We, start, we see the share price going up. The psychological level changes. People become excited. It's going to be very interesting. My main thesis is the fact that in this play, next to nothing has changed. We still have the synthetics. We still have people who are going to be dedicated to buying and holding and not giving up. We still have perseverance. So I really believe that if we do end up seeing a situation where, okay, shorts start to cover, AMC starts pushing up, we get a gamma squeeze followed by a massive short squeeze. There's, in my opinion, there isn't truly much stopping this thing from soaring to astronomical heights other than potential manipulation and maybe some of us starting to sell, all right? It still is that simple. This means, theoretically, AMC, yes, it can still go to the thousands during a short squeeze. It still can. If shorts do start to cover all these positions, it definitely can. The real tricky part is try to trying to figure out what's going to trigger them to do that when they're actually going to be in that position, if they're actually going to get margin called, if all of them will. Like those things are very difficult to really predict the exact timing of them, but it still is very possible. Now, let's just say, like I mentioned earlier, that, you know, this whole um, market crash doesn't cause the MOAS or like some AMC squeeze. Hypothetically, let's say Adam Aaron does a share offering, but doesn't cause a huge run up or like as big as some people are predicting. Hypothetically, let's just say the market recovery isn't the biggest factor for AMC to like squeeze. If that's the case, there's one thing that will cause it to squeeze, in my opinion. That is the fundamental improvements of this company. And I believe that Adam Aaron has some good tricks up his sleeve. I believe he's not going to quit. Adam Aaron is going to have AMC make more money, use that money to kind of like pursue different ventures, such as streaming the World Cup, watching different, you know, sports events. Maybe they could get into more industries. They have the popcorn industry coming up. Profitability is what's going to be very pivotal for this company. Getting there is going to cause lots of these shorts to question their positions. Many will start covering. FOMO will get bigger. Fundamental improvements will get bigger. And eventually, this thing is going to explode. I still believe that, guys. Now, going into the future, what I believe is going to happen is, right now, there are people that may think I'm crazy for saying that. All right? I totally get it. However, however, if you watch this video like two, one, two years in the future, I think you guys are going to be very amazed because this share price is going to be way higher. The market recovery itself will help AMC push all the way back up to this mid-level, in my opinion, above $20. And by the time, you know, whether the market recovery leads to squeeze or whatever the trigger is, I do believe if it's a gamma squeeze, this thing has the potential to go to $154 using a trend-based FIB extension. If a gamma squeeze in itself causes a short squeeze, it could go even higher. And yes, it can go to the thousands. It still is possible. Predicting the exact level is very difficult, but I'm still 
Like my strategy personally is to just be selling on the way up in brackets. Until that day comes, I'm going to stay with you guys. I'll be here. I'll be in this play. I'm not selling anything. I've never sold a single AMC share. I'm going to be with you guys until the time comes. All right. So we're in this together. We're not quitting. This is definitely not an easy, you know, move. It was very difficult for all of us to continue to believe and not quit, no matter how many people were against us, no matter, no matter how many articles came out saying that we were fools. We never quit. We didn't quit. And I believe when you're patient, it will pay off. Not financial advice, by the way. Thank you all for listening. Be ready. I do believe in this thing squeezing. I do believe during a major run-up, we could get to 150 for a share, and that may trigger this thing to actually see a short squeeze to the thousands. It still is possible. It's just going to require patience. We'll see how this really goes. And until then, I will stay with you guys. Thank you all for listening. Have an absolutely incredible rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright, and peace out.